Hello guys and welcome to a Liga BVA squad builder. Now you might have there is another one that you might have seen on the Sky High Guys channel. I am with him today. Oh. Right. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing another one because I was reading lots of the comments and a lot of people were like, oh no, you can improve this so much. <laughs> so we I decided to spend about roughly eight and a half million, you might be able to get it cheaper. I was just doing it in a bit of a hurry. To build an even more beast team than we had before. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So, as our goalkeeper today, we are going for the team of the season, Courtois, who is a beast of a player. He just pretty much stops everything in the path. A really good recommend. I I really rate him as a player, personally. But it's up to you, I suppose. As a keeper, you could go for Casillas, but I don't really think he's done it that on FIFA this year. He, although he's got quite a high rating, he's just letting quite a lot of goals for me, personally. And then we have Ramos. We have... Wait, no. We do not have Godin. Okay. Okay, we do have Godin. And we have Godin. Now, these players... Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, <laughs> these these are my um, three centre-backs I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing like Godin in the right-back position because... Of course, the only other like higher rated than that is Danny Alves, 91 rated, and now it's having a look. And people have just price locked him at about 2 million, so, and I didn't have 2 million. So we basically decided to go with Godin as a right back centre back, who mm -hmm. is a. He's got really good heading and really good at corners. His pace lets him down a bit, though. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose. And, his, and the haircut they've given him on FIFA. That's yeah. pretty bad as well, I'm not going to lie. And then we have the team of the season, Felipe Luiz, who is pretty much. If he is a really, really good right wing back, that's why I tend to play with him. He got quite, he got seventy shots, which is quite good for a left back. And he's got eighty eight pace and eighty five dribbling. So really recommend him if you just, if you one of them people who plays on the wings and you want a bit of width, bring get Louise on and play ultra attacking, and you'll be amazing. And then we go for wait, I didn't click on strikers. All right, we're going for centre mids now. And our first centre mid is going to be. I believe it'll be the Di Maria, which is the week this week the upgrade of Di Maria. As you can see, he's got 91 pace, 83 shot, 90 dribbling, and 88 pass, which is just insane. And he's got so much pace for a centre mid. And then we can see he's got Javi Iniesta here, the classic, classic strike, classic centre mids. But of course, they don't have as much pace. That is why I've got Di Maria in the middle. So it means at least on the wings, we've got pace with all the with the others. Probably swap that around for now. Uh, okay, and then we move on to our right forward, who is actually our left forward. One second, we have to cover up the current bit. Back. I can't show you who, because we've got two players here. Oh god, I know, yeah. Wow. Just here. Okay. Uh, okay, there you go, and it is going to be... The recently upgraded Kareem Benzema in our left forward position. In the right forward, though. Yeah. And then what we're going to do for a change is we're going to do the... Uh, yeah, actually, no, we'll do the left forward, right? This is the reason why I was covering it. Because in left forward, we went for the beast and the, the arguably the most OP player in the game, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, he cost me quite a lot to get hold of. But he is just a complete beast of a player. I played one match with him. He scored two very, very good goals because he's just got so much power. And yeah, and then we go into our final position, our striker. And of course, who else could be the striker of our team? None other than Messi himself. So there you can see we've got our Messi there with 92 pace, 89 shot, 96 nice dribbling. He is just insane. Highest rated card on the game, normal card anyway. Yeah, highest rated normal card, as Sam said. And also, we've, um, Ronaldo's the highest rated normal, second highest rated normal card, isn't he? Mm -hmm. So we've got the two most highest rated normal cards in the game, which are beasts of a player, beast players. Mm -hmm. And now we're just going to fill up the bench. We're not going to go for like Liga BVA, which, because unfortunately, I only had 20 grand after this from the 8.5 million I spent. So, I, I I just pretty much just bought whatever I got. Oh, yeah, I got Schneider in a pack, but I pretty much just bought loads of high-rated players just to try and... just to give you an idea of what, what it could be if you, like, put some good bench in. Of course, I don't really have... You see, 89 rated there, but I... The bench could easily be improved, and you could easily get that up to a 90. 
but it's just I didn't have the money to do it, so there, that's the team today. That is a pretty insane squad. I think that's probably one of the best squads we've ever built, pretty much. Yeah, especially since, you remember, we did a lot of, um, we've done quite a lot of, you know, the Man of the Match squad you've probably seen uh, on the Sky Eye Guys channel. I'll leave a link to his description so you can check it out. <laughs> Uh, there's some really good videos there, and it's like quite a lot of iOS, all iOS. So you can see that uh, most of the squad builds we've done, either we've been told that they're not OP enough, or we've been told the chemistry's not good enough. So you can't win, but this time I think we've done it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone can complain about this. If you can, leave a, leave a comment. If you can't, enjoy it. See you then. Until next time.